Uh, uno, dos, tres, cuarto. Nah, don't worry. This is an English video. I'm just testing out my... <laughs> yeah, just for fun. Never mind. Welcome back uh, to Open Phone, guys. I am Fyodor and I'll be hosting this show today. Uh, it's not actually a show, but whatever. Um, so today, uh, taking a look at um, the time-varying cavity foam. And we have um, successfully used pimple foam the last time. All right, to run it to 50 seconds. And we take a look at the block mesh, I mean lock buoyant pimple foam. And we see that it has run for 50 seconds over the course of 4,000 seconds. So 50 seconds of simulation time. And of course, uh, we want to look at the current number to see if we are overdoing things. And yes, we are overdoing things because the current number is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5. So we think, hey, maybe this time step is really way too short and we don't really need that short a time step and we're just wasting computational time. Is there some way to automatically adjust the computation time uh, so as to, you know, have a reasonable current number? The answer is yes. Um, if we take a look at pimple foam, all right, I have cop um, if you take a look at pimple foam, uh, this actually allows, some of the cases actually allow for adjustable runtime which means they will change the time step every now and then so as to make the current number fit. Okay, so for example, okay, so this this is uh, on the right screen. Um, this is the control dig file. This is a control dig file for the current number, I mean, for a pimple foam case. All right, it's a pimple foam case, so without heat transfer. And it starts from the start time, stop at end time and it uses this thing called adjustable runtime so what does adjustable runtime mean adjustable runtime means that for every uh, this amount this right interval every if you put 0 0.0001 seconds so every 0 0.0001 seconds of simulator time it will just record down the the uh, data so the perch right binary everything's the same now, we need to make the runtime modifiable true so that we can adjust the time step. So OpenFoam will just uh, adjust the time step as we go along. So it says uh, adjust time step, yes, and the max current number is 2. So for PimpleFoam, it, uh, it allows us to run at higher than one current number. That's a special uh, case of PimpleFoam. Um, just so to let you know that uh, pimple foam can do this and piezo foam cannot okay so yeah uh, basically yes i just i just was back from some uh, interruption but uh, okay so yes um remember pimple foam is a uh, incompressible flow solver we can get the current number more than uh, one for I, I forgot what the reason was but it uh, you can do that um, you can go and look that up next time right. um, but anyway you can do it more than uh, one so what we want to do is to start uh, using uh, an adjustable time step and increase the maximum current number so that um, we have we can do what it takes to shorten the simulation and simulation time okay so where do we get our resources from um, okay CFD Direct. This is the OpenFoam version 6. Of course, it is different from the OpenFoam I'm using, but the similarities are enough that we can uh, know what to do. We can use most of the instructions here. Okay, so what, what is the thing that we need to take note of? Um, we need to take note of this thing called write control. Normally, we use time step, which writes data every number of time steps. Okay, so every write interval, so write interval is here. Where is write interval? Write interval is here. Okay. Every write interval um, time steps, it will, it will, um, let's say every 20 time steps, it, if you put your write interval as 20, every 20 time steps, you will put down record data. Okay, for runtime, it will write the write interval write yeah okay it will write data for every whatever number you put in the write inter interval seconds of simulated time the one we want to uh, adjust uh, we want to use is called adjustable runtime 
it says that it writes every whatever number you put in this uh, write interval seconds of simulated time adjusting times uh, steps to coincide with write interval so um, it means that uh, let's say let's say you you have a time step at 0 0.45 and then you want to have a recording at 0 0.5 but your time step is maybe 0 0.08 so that your next time step is actually 0 0.53 so if you use a runtime okay let me use paint to explain what I mean uh, say so let's say you're at 0 0.45 0 0.45 seconds and then you want to record at 0 0.5 0 0.5 seconds but okay you have a uh, your time step at that point is 0 0.08 okay so you kind of skip the 0 0.5 seconds and then you end up with 0 0.53 So 0 0.53 seconds. So tendency is if you use the runtime, you will skip this 0 0.5 seconds completely. You will skip this 0 0.5 seconds completely, and you end up at 0 0.53 seconds. So what do you, what do you do? You use this adjustable runtime. Use this adjustable runtime, and what it does is that you automatically shorten the time step, so that you go from 0 0.45 to 0 0.5, and that is. That is what we want to do. Okay, so this is very important for us to understand how to, uh, what this actually means. So again, when we have right in uh, right control adjustable runtime, we have this right interval, zero point zero 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 one. So every zero point zero 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 one seconds, the uh, it, the data will be recorded. It will be written down. Okay. So uh, in the last time, we got up to 50 seconds over uh, more than an hour of simulation. I'm going to clean this up. All right, I'm just going to clean this up. And OK, I'm just going to remove the readme file as well because it is not relevant. OK, so let's go to system and use a control dictionary. All right, so we want uh, boy and pimple form. We start from latest time. We end at end time and we use 100, maybe 100 seconds. Okay, so delta t starts at 0 0.01 is and right control instead of time step. We will use we want to use adjustable runtime, adjustable runtime. Okay, so every how many seconds do we want? Maybe we want to have it uh, record every 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds of simulator time, we want it to record. Okay, perch right zero, blah, blah, blah. The only thing next we want to take note of is to have the adjustable time step. So time format is general, time precision six. Run modif time modifiable, true. Adjustable time step. Instead of no, we want to change it to a yes. So we put a yes here. And max coron number, we want something like a point, uh, 2.0. So that will help us uh, just to roughly have a gauge. We, we can adjust our coron number as per what we want, depending on how we want our simulation to be. But I'll just change it to 2.0 for now, just to demonstrate the, the code, uh, what you can do with the code. All right, so I'm going to save and quit. And now I, OK, so this, yeah, this, this, uh, this uh, time varying cavity form we have taken from these three cases: boy and cavity, chalk nozzle, and thermocouple test case. So this one will, this one is the original geometry. This one will change to uh, boy and pimple form. This one is where we get this. Uh, yeah, I copied this in so that we can get this uh, control dig file, and you understand how to have an adjustable runtime. Once that is done, we can go to choke nozzle, choke, choked nozzle, and we can um, start looking for ways to implement in time varying boundary condition. So let's go to time varying uh, cavity form first. Let's test the new uh, let's test the new run capability. I'm going to put all run and n to run it in the background. Okay, and I want to do a git add. 
and git commit with the message of adjusted runtime in buoyant pimple foam uh, custom case or rather time varying cavity foam case that's all so that deletes a lot of things and I want to push it up to git I add in my username and password so it's like you need to shake it up okay let me try again <laughs> so it's uh it's doing that and it's written 20 seconds worth of time already so it's pretty fast Okay, so uh, you see that the max coron number is about 2, so you'll just keep adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. Uh, yeah, we'll see what the results are next uh, video. Thanks for watching. We will... Yeah, I'll quit all and not... I'll s not uh, save and quit. But okay, next video we will take a look at the results and see if they make sense and we'll... And after that, we want to see whether we can put in the time varying boundary conditions. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being patient. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Peace in the least. Yeah, what he said. <laughs>